So, I'm going to have some tips and tricks for League of Kingdoms here. Uh, so, so right now I have six of the barracks going, and then I have two of each resource, and then I have one extra stone, and I have one extra gold. Um, they're my two outside corners. Otherwise, I had two of every resource in the beginning, and I had like four barracks. So I like to have kind of an even-ish uh, aspect of my resources to army. Your armies can always get you more resources, so it's worth having a decent-sized army builder. Basically, the more barracks, the faster you'll build armies, and it seems like the bigger army you can build as well. So if you're going to waste any gems, you might want to waste them here so that you can have bigger rallies. You don't necessarily need this, but then you shouldn't start a rally. Um, this is all about your rally size. You can actually put points into your mastery into this too. Um, but uh, also one thing to save your gems, get all your other resources and you can use your gems to, to basically buy the alliance points. Um, which the more rallies you do, the more of those you'll get as well. So you can always join them, but if you're, um, you want to make sure you have a bigger rally party because otherwise you can't take down some of the monsters, um, or some people in your team might not be able to join because they can't fit. Your, your rallies will fill up really fast. So, if I were to use gems, which I have, um, used them on this specifically, just to get my rally size bigger so I can help my team a little more. Um, but right now, that's a 10, my castle's 16, so, uh, it's not too bad, but it's, it's, unless you're rallying constantly, it's kind of hard to keep up, uh, that building. But otherwise, all my other ones are within range of, like, a, a, a level. I'm trying to level it all at once. But I did skip my way to 16 once I got to like 14. I powered through to get my castle to 16 as fast as I could so I could build the better units. The, uh, inf the... So that I could build the knights, the ranger, and the heavy cavalry. I wanted to have all these tier 3, I believe. Yeah, tier 3 infantry. I wanted to have all those unlocked, so I, I flew through. My army got wiped out when I was like, had a ton of tier 1 guys and uh, a couple tier 2s, so whatever. Uh, yes. So the one thing to try to keep up on, I guess you can do it for either or if you want the resources. I try to constantly have this monster search going just because you get those treasure goblins um, and then if you're high enough, taking out the, the level 5 guys, too. Um, so I actually just had one fire, so there's three treasure goblins. I think I actually killed all three of these, so this is just a recent one. We'll check real quick. Yeah, yeah, that's the ones I took out. So I got all three of those. Um, I will just search around, and if you have a key eye for sparkles, you will see treasure goblins just out in the field. So. But I'll get out to like a certain area and then I'll just kind of circle around it. See, there's one. So, I got a pretty keen eye for these guys. Don't really need anywhere near that. Yeah, I like I like to hunt these guys. It's uh, you get some cool stuff from them and the dragon eggs. That's always fun. Oh, no Q left. Oh, well, I'm just gonna link them for my team then, cause somebody will get them. But yeah, so that's that's what I'll do. Oh, there's another level four. I'll link them to my team too. I could take my guys out of my resources, but right now I'm just getting resources. Figure I'll make a video. But yeah, that's what I do. I just, you know, look around a little bit and get a keen eye for spotting them. But that was pretty cool.
But uh, anyways, so that's one one thing. Yeah, doing the doing the monster search. That's a that's a big one. Um, constantly using your action points so that you you know you're constantly bringing in more resources every every monster you kill and the higher ones that you can take out the better because they give you just more resources to build um, but yeah you'll also want to go into your quests and stay up on all the events you can um, these things they they happen daily or every other day they change and there, there's a lot of good resources you can get out of all these this I, I can't build any tier 4 or higher or tier 5 or higher so this events pretty much done for me I, I'm <laughs> quite a few levels under for that but I hit the tier 3 so um, the drops make you shower that is a whole bunch of little uh, puzzle pieces the I think those are NFTs um, consecutive logins that's I'm working on. <laughs> I think I just hit 30. Something like that. 15. Oh, 20. That's what I just hit. But yeah, so staying up on all these, um, and then your dailies. All your dailies, you get a lot of good stuff from too. Uh, at least try to get the, all the treasure chests daily. Because they're all just free, just from uh, doing a couple of simple things. It takes maybe 20 minutes, for the most part. And then you get some boosts and whatever. But yeah, so that's uh, that's a couple of really good tips and tricks to to help succeed a little bit more. Try to stay under the radar, because uh, this is a war game. Um, there's always going to be somebody bigger and badder than you, so. Uh, you know, try and stay cool. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.